I'm welcome you all to this 14th day of CSR online training. Before entering the section, I want to confirm whether I am I audible. Can you see my slides? Please response. Then we will start. Please let me know. Uh, am I audible? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm uh, now I'm going to start the session. Today we had uh, we are uh, we are all may know about this because that is a rare one. This uh, once uh, in the RNA is developed. Uh, RNA is helps to develop the uh, DNA for uh, the genomic functioning that uh, dna is divided into divided into rna that is transcript uh, transcript into the rna the transcript rna is formed the protein that is the translation process each and every process is started with the first step that is the uh, the dna recognition once the dna is recognized by the protein then uh, recognized by the enzyme then only it can be transcribed into rna so the first uh, important thing is dna recognition recognition this recognized by the sequence specific dna binding protein that sequence specific dna binding protein is enzyme that enzyme is helps to transcribe into mrna rna that sequences so first thing is the transcription process uh, that is very very important that for that transcription process that want to be recognized by the enzyme that recognition step is depends on the the protein structure the specific sequence if uh, it, that that the enzyme is not able to convert the each and every portion of the dna, uh, DNA. once it's find the specific sequence means then only that activate and it will get transcribed into mrnas then uh, then a uh, second principle is nucleic acid denaturation denaturation that is uh, called as okay am i audible now Yes, some network connection, network problem. I think so. That's why only. Please confirm. Am I audible now? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, denaturation. Second principle is denaturation. In this denaturation process, that nucleic acid get replicate. That replication process, uh, that replication process also we need the proenzyme. This enzyme uh, it's activate it helps to replication. 
so that as uh, de for denaturation that itself we need the enzyme but in this uh, denaturation we don't need the sequence specific this enzyme is only recognizing the uh, replicatable dna and it gets activate activated uh, the enzymes helps to the replications that enzyme chemical based reaction that is the chemicals once we find out the uh, specific regions that will get denatured here uh, another one is the dna topology and dna sequencing in the dna topology we can find the structure specific structure of the dna uh, that is the topology topology means the structure based study and the sequences the sequences having the uh, repeatedly having the nucleotides atgc right this atgc uh, having the uh, particular order we are all know uh, three three eight uh, three nucleic acids uh, uh, arranged in manner that is called as the amino acid right uh, so likewise the each, uh, the nucleotides are arranged in a particular manner that is called as the uh, the sequence that uh, the dna sequence uh, the nucleic acid sequence the why we need this arranged sequence each and every experiment each and every uh, uh, laboratory ex experiment or uh, real time experiment we need the uh, process that we need the process called as um, the sequence uh, multiplication the sequence establishment because that nucleic acid sequence are uh, transcribed by mrna that mrna is helps to for helps for the translation of protein so uh, for every process the nucleic acid are the basic one without nucleic acid we can't do anything in the uh, in the biological method likewise uh, in this replication process also you may see in the uh, this rdna polymerase enzyme okay in this uh, if once uh, the dna polymerase enzyme is not bound at the nucleic acid uh, that will not get the replica uh, that will not uh, uh, form the establish the uh, dna and uh, another uh, like uh, another enzymes are proteins are called as uh, the topo isomerase right that to if without the topo isomerase that will not uh, dna will not get replicate these are all the some uh, the major things likewise the for the sequence uh, based proteins are there because once it's bound with the nucleic acid bound with the topo isomerase that will get replicate and uh, uh, if that nucleic acid sequence uh, make an interaction with the dna polymerase means that will that will make the uh, okasaki fragments this is the basic thing because uh, uh, without uh, uh, recognizing recognition the replication is not happen likewise the transcription also okay here are the confirmations confirmations is in the dna confirmation we have a a g z and another one more type is also there that is the uh, a a r n a okay in the dna we having uh, three types a form D, b form z form it's very very important uh, thing and because the csr examination they are rapidly asked this kind of question this based on this uh, a form b form z form uh, without this question uh, i am rapidly without the confirmation based question mm, uh, is a rare one because uh, many uh, refer some of the previous year questions or uh, uh, the confirmation and dna sequencing that uh, uh, this dna related uh, basic information question is there so only i am mentioned here so okay a is a right handed or a right handed dna uh, here you can see uh, the a is the, the in the direction of this uh, 
spiral formation that's uh, that uh, helix formation is in right handed direction it's a right handed direction okay you can see here it's a right handed direction so only it is uh, it's uh, having the uh, right handed uh, structure it's called as the a, a dna in this plane of base pass includes of helix axis it's a uh, uh, it's surrounded by the helix al helix alone in this uh, it's helix based on the axis axis is a center point then central axis 6a hollow along with along uh, helix uh, axis okay 6 armstrong is there in the in the center point we have the 6 armstrong halo Hello means it's a empty space is there in the center axis. Six Armstrong hello along uh, helix axis is there. Then major groups uh, as uh, nar narrow and deep major groups. Here you can see the narrow and deep major groups. It's a basic thing. Then uh, the mirror mirror group the minor groups are minor groups are wide and shallow uh, it's a very very important thing in the a form you can the major groups are narrow and deep minor are wide and shallow and the b form a b form of dna it having the wide and deep uh, major group and minor is the narrow and deep uh, this is very very important because uh, the comparison question is, questions are there. They are providing the same answer, but we, we uh, the correct answer in the last one we may get confusion. So be uh, please remember this. In the A form we having the narrow and deep major group and wide and shallow uh, minor group. In a B form, we having the deep and the wide major, deep and wide major group, major group, and uh, minor group is a narrow and deep. It's a very important thing. Then this B form also the right-handed. Here the width is the intermediate. The width is the intermediate. The then planes are uh, uh, likewise the. Uh, or uh, a form that planes are the base bus nearly perpendicular to the helix axis here it's a uh, inclined to the helix axis here it is the perpendicular perpendicular to helix axis you uh, here you can uh, see and understand here in the a form it's a inclined form here it is the inclined one it's a in inclined one but in uh, here in this b form it's a perpendicular to the helix it's a it's a very important thing a form it is inclined form in the b form it is perpendicular form perpendicular to the helix axis then in the central as a tiny central axis uh, like uh, already we discussed this major grooves and my gro my minor grooves so in this uh, i'm going to stress this point here planes of bases are in in this a a form of dna the the planes are in a uh, helix uh, inclined to the helix axis in a b form it's a perpendicular to the helix axis okay now the major important uh, the different one that is the z form it's a left handed uh, left handed helix in this it's a narrowest to the narrowest having narrowest width this planes are uh, perpendicular to the helix axis no internal space no internal space is there no major grooves only it having the minor grooves that minor groove is called as the narrow and deep the major groove is uh, is not uh, there only it having the narrow deep minor groove alone so it you can see here it's an improper mode so it not having the center uh, it's uh, it's not a helix uh, helix uh, 
perfect helix okay this is the uh, three different forms uh, a and b are both are the right handed z is the left handed um, and the a is specifically having the six armstrong halos in the center that is the uh, specific nature in this uh, b form it's uh, perpendicular to helix axis uh, in the z form it's uh, having the left handed and it don't have the major groove having the minor groove alone okay uh, this is the one chemical based ex uh, example because uh, this kind of uh, questions also there because uh, sometimes they may uh, ask based on the question if the uh, s type conformation found in the b dna that structure is called as the uh, called as the b type uh, duplex that is the d uh, d type b type uh, dna if we found out and find uh, n type conformation that is the here you can see the structure it is a n s form s form is the b here n n it's a, it's a n form it's a n form confirms it's a a if you find the structure like s form that is the b type dna b dna if you found a n form in a chemical structure that is called as the a form of dna okay dna processing or uh, trna processing once i'm go uh, just want to confirm this here you can a, a uh, then the rna that is called as the a form because it's an uh, right handed one it having the center hollow so it's called as the arna okay now uh, first previously we discussed about the trna uh, arna and a form of forms of conformations of dna now it's an and we are going to enter into the type of the trna uh, that is rna uh, dna like that okay uh, here what is the uh, process of uh, trna okay uh, the rna uh, in here they were explained uh, one uh, sick uh, example with example here the rna operon of e coli contains the coding sequence of trnas uh, its uh, trna is transcribed by rna polymerase as a uh, this uh, R, this trna is not an active form in the nucleus because it's a pre trna Pre trna found in our nucleus this trna is transcribed by uh, the rna polymerase okay and additionally that this uh, trna gene is separated by the spacer sequences there was some uh, spacer sequences in the normal trna rna sequences this are divided based on the spacer sequences it says some information about trna basic information next one is structure structure it is the very very important thing that is the basic thing this structure of trna is very very important thing in the uh, genetical engineering molecular engineering everywhere uh, the trna is trna structure understanding is uh, most uh, uh, most helpful thing in the uh, genetical uh, seek, say uh, genetical uh, studies okay first thing the three prime end three prime end having the amino acid the ax uh, that is called as the stems uh, that uh, region that three prime end region is called as acceptor stem in that acceptor stem they are they have that, uh, that having the amino acid re amino acid acceptance region that region is having carries the uh, uh, amino acid then next one is the t t size c that is loop that loop is uh, present in the right hand side then 
variable loop it's an uh, in between loop that anti codon this is very very important region it as alone interact with the uh, our uh, sequence and producing the uh, protein producing the uh, our uh, specific uh, proteins that uh, this is called as the anti codon loop this region is anti codon this have the amino acids present in the region in uh, specifically in this region that having the amino acids that amino acids are uh, uh, specifically interact with uh, the dna uh, that sequence this anti codon sequences are uh, widely help us to understand uh, uh, the uh, function that uh, this uh, complementary base pairs because the co if there is a specific complementary base pairs we can get this sequence otherwise we can't uh, get the specific sequence in the uh, if there is an adenine means we want to uh, that producing the u uh, that uh, 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 for for that adenine that produces produce the u sequences uh, we want the u sequences in the dna uh, so it's very important thing uh, in for understanding trna in this t this trna is uh, reading the message of the nucleic acid at uh, that nucleotide then it's translate the protein or amino acid so in this process making of protein that rna mrna template uh, is uh, produced that produced mrna template is helps to uh, translate and it's it's produce the protein so the function is uh, M uh, the trna is very very important thing uh, that important uh, it for understanding the process of trna we need the uh, specific complementary mrna sequence so it's a basic thing like uh, uh, for uh, if, if there is a uh, mrna that mrna structure having uh, foldings uh, on that is not folded structure okay that is the, uh, this uh, mrna and uh, uh, is uh, trna is similar in uh, nature but having the structural variations uh, for mrna this having the unfolded uh, unfolded linear molecule that but DNA is having the three D structure with the harp uh, the harpin loops. That loop having the anticodon region. This anticodon region uh, is not there in mRNA sequence. The function of uh, uh, this uh, mRNA and uh, tRNA is similar, but the most uh, important thing is the anticodon region. Okay, the specific uh, rules is. Uh, uh, anticodon region is a uh, ro hero role playing step in the uh, uh, trna i think you can understand now then a session uh, with uh, this uh, d loop is there then phi dash end okay it's having this some space some unique natures this unique natures is the mm, this uh, base bus are there specific containing the number of unusual bases are there and this unusual bases are protect the trna molecule from dehydration of rnas because this rna it may be degraded by the rnas polymers to avoiding the denaturation uh, that having the some extra bases okay uh, and also it is protected by the methylation process the, we want to stop the the methylation because this uh, the top having the amino acids with the methyl uh, region so we need to uh, avoid the uh, um, product the uh, methylation process in the structure it having the inosin in this inosin is helps to produce the adenosine then pseudo uracil is that is the phi psi n that is helps to uracil production then dehydroxy uridine it's a uridine molecule it's present in the these are all the major compounds uh, 
uh, unique features of the tRNA. You may see in this, this and everything is uh, loop having the some specific uh, I mean uh, that uh, nucleate bases that bases are formed uh, because of this uh, specificity that uniqueness property. That is the adenosine, adenine is there, uracil is there and uridine uh, specific compound is there. Uh, in, uh, in, for adenine there uh, is uh, that having the inosin and uh, for uracil it having the pseudo uracil uridine it having the dihydroxy uridine okay it's all about the that previous thing it's all about the tRNA okay tRNA keyword is the keyword of this tRNA is it having anticodon it's a 3D structure it having uh, using this anticodon uh, anticodon it's producing the uh, uh, mRNAs that RNAs translation pro it's doing the translation process uh, because of the this, this uh, translation process we can obtain the n number of proteins uh, now you can understand the uh, uh, tRNA function uh, without uh, uh, we can we many of the research latest researchers are using this tRNA type because this uh, tRNA the transfer ribonucleic acid is helps to uh, that T code the mRNA so it's pro it is easily transcribing the uh, protein trans translate into the protein uh, it's, a, it's a specific uh, site in the uh, uh, RNA this uh, uh sorry uh, ribosome this uh, ribosome it's uh, helps to translate the mrna sequence because this uh, tRNA functions at specific site of uh, ribosome is uh, uh, translating the mrna uh, sequence translating the mrna sequence that mrna sequence is producing the protein this is the keyword here uh, then the futures of uh, the um, tRNA sequence that are all the very very important thing so processing structure and unique properties uh, because many of the questions are based on the tRNA concepts only I'm mentioning that another thing of the uh, pro uh, this uh, RM RNA is miRNA that miRNA is microRNA this microRNA is there in uh, uh, nu this nucleus this uh, in the in that it's uh, having n number of microRNA genes that m n number of microRNA genes are in a pre form okay in that pre form that is uh, modified into the uh, modifying the nu uh, that mRNA using this enzymes that enzymes are are activated without that there is no activation without mRNA uh, for that specific function that mRNA is added to the um, the M, uh, mRNA here you can see it's an um, uh, here there is the mRNA using this mRNA uh, to this mRNA sequence they are added it's a uh, process here mRNA can be uh, attached to the target mRNA cleavage this mRNA cleavage helps to producing further sequences otherwise we have another option another option is the translation repression translation repression means uh, that protein that synthesis the RNA need to be converted into a rib, uh, protein through the ribosome for that we are uh, we are uh, having the uh, uh, mRNA a microRNA for the translation repression here it's one switching process because in this uh, first step you can see uh, without this microRNA there is no activation of uh, L L S Y six gene so there is no activation of C O G one gene here the sequential uh, sequential gene activation here uh, the d uh, di one one uh, protein is in active form for that don't having that uh, it, that is not activating the another form for we need to switch the uh, process 
if we switch the process of miRNA we are activating the microRNA that automatically activating the GO, COG1 protein so main thing is here is mRNA microRNAs are there in nucleic acid for the specific gene expression purpose that will activated uh, by activated and it will uh, um, produced for the oh sorry it's uh, activated and bound with the specific uh, nucleic uh, acids that forming the that helps to stimulate the mrna uh, that stimulate the uh, it may be uh, it has also helpful for the our uh, mrna sequence mrna sequence development because uh, this uh, uh, micro rnas are uh, very small in uh, size that is non codon non coding rna right this uh, it may be containing uh, nearly small uh, 22 or uh, 22 22 so this are uh, all uh, uh, playing a function in the post translational modification transcription modification post transcription modification may converted into rna for post transcription means that uh, rna having some structural changes that because the mirna is uh, attached to the uh, the rna sequences so mrna a micro rna is functions based on the a complementary sequence of with the mrna they are having two functions it may directly bound with here you can see the image uh, like uh, in this image that is the microRNA in the nucleic acid uh, some of the proteins are converted that uh, DNA is converted into our mRNA that mRNA sequence having some uh, that sequence that uh, divided sequence having some lagging so this microRNAs are uh, attached to over the uh, transcribed RNA sequence so after the uh, normal uh, transcription process they are having that cell having the uh, RNA this micro RNA is bound RNAs another one is is one time of another one is the micro RNA attachment this micro RNA attachment it having the uh, different function because in this uh, uh, we that uh, micro RNA is found the complementary complementary sequence in the mRNA okay uh, because in, in the plant and animals it's playing a uh, uh, very crucial role because targeting the specific mRNAs uh, for degradation and translation by any, anything because if you want uh, some specific protein uh, if you want to express highly ex we want to express the uh, uh, specific protein means we need to uh, add the micro RNA to the mRNA that helps to produce the uh, higher quantity that convert easy to convert the protein mRNA into protein this micro RNA is uh, regulated based on the uh, disease, uh, disease uh, treatments because there is a normal uh, if there is any uh, protein based deficiency that uh, that want to produce some higher quantity of uh, uh, product means we need to activate the protein. Uh, for insulin for in the in the human itself you can see insulin production if you are adding the uh, a micro rna based system in the nucleic new insulin production that micro rna find uh, find the uh, insulin uh, specific uh, protein in the human cell uh, in that uh, that mrna insulin specific gene uh, that bound with uh, mrna that can be bind with uh, mrna so microRNA can convert the mRNA into uh, insulin so there was high production of insulin that helps to uh, cure the diabetics so application of this miRNA is lost in the uh, latest world the function of mR that structure production of miRNA is in nucleic acid the function is in the uh, cytoplasm this is all the switching function it's also depends upon the uh, process uh, workflow the protein stability then uh, each after the production of the protein that RNA also helps to for the production of protein mRNA helps to production of protein 
uh, first we discuss the DNA that is the replication transcription translation process based one then we discussed the protein translation process uh, uh, that is cell, uh, because of the TR tRNA and mRNA then we want to understand the stability of uh, protein because proteins are made up of amino acids that may be denaturable in any condition so that is not sure about the uh, not sure uh, because uh, everywhere that we can find the changes in the structure you can uh, it may be denatured by the heat it may be denatured by the ph everywhere everything is possible so first of all we need to understand the stability how long how long it will uh, stable in nature how long it is uh, there bear the temperature variation so understanding the function the stability uh, they are calculating delta e value the delta e value between the native and denatured state of the protein it's uh, it depends on the experimental it, it's uh, they are calculated in the scientific manner that is 5 to 15 kilocalorie per mole it's a normal native and denative uh, normal energy transfer energy balance imbalance between the uh, state nature and denature of uh, state of protein at a low uh, consideration the uh, for the uh, hydrogen bond is there means that uh, energy is 2 to 5 kilocalorie mole in the contribution of uh, contributors of this energy how it is energy is calculated this energy is calculated based on the enthalpy enthalpy is energy of non covalent interaction between the peptide chains there was peptide chains the peptide chains are made the made the protein because the peptide chains between the amino acids are helps to form the protein structure this uh, protein structures are uh, uh, so how how much amount of energy is required for the uh, protein protein structure this protein structure is uh, formed uh, formed by the hydrophobic interaction hydrogen bond ionic interaction this uh, this various bonds are uh, requires some energy for the binding that energy is called as delta e this delta uh, now once again repeat this delta is is means that is the energy utilized that energy utilized helps to understand the protein stability the protein stability uh, is the process so uh, it helps to understand how long storage purpose for modification purpose mm, that all the if you, it can be uh, the, it can be the diagnosis purpose all the things are there uh, in the enthalpy then first one is the enthalpy then uh, that enthalpy is uh, energy of covalent interaction in the polypeptide chains uh, in another thing is the entropy this energy uh, this entropy is energy uh, transfer between this system increase order okay system to increase order the uh, uh, first one is uh, amino acid amino acid interaction then amino acids forming the loop right that loop loop interaction every th everything is calculated based on the second law of thermodynamics uh, the second law of thermodynamics is the energy transfer between the particular space uh, in the in the relative stability is very very important relative stability means uh, uh, the additional uh, the surrounding temperature that is stability variations in the nucleic acid stability that has there is a hydrogen bonding that hydrogen bonding and uh, based on hydrogen bonding and uh, hydrophobic interaction we can calculate the uh, nucleic acid stability because that uh, in the st uh, rna structure helix structure beta structure uh, dna structures are formed by the uh, for hydrogen bonding this hydrogen bonding is uh, help us to understand this secondary structure the secondary structure is uh, maybe the deformed the secondary structure this is based on the secondary structure alone we can get the tertiary structure it's uh, this uh, tertiary structure it's maybe uh, denature at any temperature okay in the pcr itself we may understand but particular temperature it will get denature right so that is the stability loss 
uh, that the, what what that that is the experiment. But normal case, we need to maintain the temperature. This temperature, uh, the temperature based uh, hydrogen bonding based reactions are uh, helps to understand the stability of the nucleic acid. Then another one is the hydrophobic interaction. First one is the uh, hydro hydrogen bonding. In that hydrogen bonding, uh, we have various uh, contributions. Hydrophobic interaction. Uh, it's an uh, this hydrophobic interactions happen between the aromatic base bus. The aromatic base bus are uh, amino acids. The aromatic amino acids are helps to contribute the stability of nucleic acids. Uh, because the even in the sing uh, in the single strand of DNA, the base having the ter uh, tendency to stop the stop top. Okay, uh, so that uh, single strand DNA, that single strand DNA having the um, the fold sing uh, the grooves, uh, the uh, in the between links between the nucleic acids, or things are very very important in the. Uh, region in the double strand uh, we having the region called uh, that that maximized region in the stocking base so there is no need of uh, stocking interaction in uh, um, it uh, understand that lagging because that is maximized in double strand so there is higher stability the stocking interaction uh, providing this uh, better better understanding better interaction but in the single strand there is less in less interaction less stock uh, uh, interaction or uh, hydrophobic interaction so it may be it can be changeable in any form okay enter into the metabolism pa of path carbohydrate metabolism pathway here you can see the it's a glucose in present in the bloodstream that blood stream uh, the glucose present in the blood stream helps uh, its form uh, its transfer to the cell that cell converting it into glucose 6 phosphate that cell itself they are having the glucose 6 phosphate uh, pyruvate pathway Con here you can see the pyruvate pathway the output of uh, pyruvate pathway is uh, glucose 6 phosphate in that is additional product um, this is uh, helps to uh, liver cell that is help uh, if there is a pyruvate pathway happen in the liver cell that producing the glucose again into to the bloodstream. So, if the glycolysis pathway that is providing the in the glycolysis pathway you can produce the glucose 6 phosphate to the pyruvate in the gly uh, gluconeogenesis pathway we can get the pyruvate to glucose 6 pathway 6 phosphate pathway uh, production it's a very very important thing Gly glycogenesis we can produce glucose 6 phosphate to pyruvate gluconeogenesis pathway we can produce pyruvate to glucose 6 phosphate phosphate okay uh, in this this is happen uh, in the insulin glycogen production in this uh, itself this pyruvate it undergone in the anaerobic condition that helps to produce lactate this lactate is undergone any aerobic condition that produce the pyruvate it's a very important thing on Ana anaerobic condition in the anaerobic condition the pyruvate producing the lactate in the aerobic condition the lactate producing the pyruvate uh, in the uh, here you can see the Additional pathway, metabolism pathway of carbohydrate is the pentose pathway. In this pentose pathway, we having the 5 carbon sugar. We, we can produce using this uh, uh, pentose pathway, we can produce a 5 carbon sugar with the uh, NADPH. It's very uh, common thing in the glucose metabolism. In this glucose metabolism, you can understand with the energy molecule. The calculation of energy molecules are very, very important. We are asking how much amount of uh, uh, in the glycolysis path in the glycolysis how much amount of ATP and NADP is produced. In this glycolysis pathway, you can tell 
this uh, glucose 2 glucose 6 phosphate and the 6 phosphate to pyruvate production in the glucose glycolysis pathway we can get 2 ATP and 2 NADH in the gluconeogenesis pathway we can get the gluco glycogen and in the gluconeogenesis uh, we added the 2 uh, 6 ATP and 2 NADH Six a in this uh, process we can uh, uh, we can uh, we want to add the six ATP and two NADH because that is a reverse pathway. So many we are added. Then uh, is the glu gluconeogenesis in the pentose pathway. Glucose six phosphate uh, is uh, undergone any pentose pathway that producing two NADPH. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a very important thing in the. Uh, metabolic pathway the production of uh, ATP and ADP are uh, very important here NADPH here NADH there is no phosphate in the uh, addition but the release is having the ATP the, the P molecule phosphate group in the pentose pathway we can obtain 2 NADPH in the glycosis pathway we can obtain 2 ATP and 2 NADH after the pyruvate pathway we can produce the lactate alanine and uh, acetyl coa these are all the outputs after the production of pyruvate we can get the lactate we can produce the alanine we can produce the acetyl coa okay this acetyl coa helps for the pro uh, undergone the tca cycle this tca cycle helps to produce the acetyl coa and cholesterol fat this is in this T tca cycle we are using that we are producing the one gtp that's equal to one atp and uh, that utilization of uh, this three nadh and one fadh these are all the input values uh, we are utilizing that tca cycle utilizing one atp three nadh one fdh2 fadh2 the this is the basic thing uh, in the uh, ATCA cycle these are all the glu glycolysis gluconeogenesis uh, pentose pathway and TCA pathway these four things are happen in the carbohydrate metabolism then it is li lipid metabolism in the lipid metabolism the amino acids and carbohydrate is also involved in the lipid metabolism lipid metabolism having the involvement of the amino acids and uh, carbohydrates okay this metabolism having helps to produce the biofuels detoxification genetic epigenetics and uh, growth and death cellular signaling cellular structure formation in this lipid metabolism pathway they are having the sequential step okay that uh, that in the lipid metabolism it's a blue color this uh, uh, pink color form it pink color image this in this image itself we can understand their uh, input value fatty acid and glycerol if that is undergone the fatty acid sp spiral that fa fatty acid spiral pathway that producing the acetyl coa that acetyl coa produced uh, acetyl coa helps for the uh, citric acid cycle okay it's a very important thing the fat or lipid is on uh, the major thing is fatty acid or glycerol it's undergone the fatty acid spiral this fatty acid spiral pathway uh, so it's activating the acetyl coa if this acetyl coa undergone the lipogenesis phase that lipogenesis output of the lipogenesis is fatty acid and acetyl glycerol it's a thing an amino acid pathway in this amino acid pathway they are having the carb carbon skeletons that are carbon skeletons produce the keto acids this keto acids undergone the citric acid cycle that citric acid cycle they release the one atp h2 and o2 uh, then oxaloacetate after the utilization of keto acid in the citric acid cycle that pro producing the oxalactoacetate oxaloacetate oxaloacetate that oxaloacetate helps to produce the glucose this synthesis uh, glucose oxaloacetate to glucose production is the gluconeogenesis pathway it's one type of pathway it's one way 
that amino acid that is carb carbon skeleton formation then alpha keto acids that citric acid cycle formation that citric acid cycle happen in the pathway that producing oxaloacetate then glucose another pathway is the urea cycle in this urea cycle that amino acids are are uh, produce uh, forming the carbamyl phosphate this carbamyl phosphates are uh, and uh, undergone this uras urea cycle this urea cycle helps for the uh, nitrogen excretion products urea production of urea in the protein metabolism that protein metabolism is a nucleic acid to uh, nucleic acid to amino acid conversion amino acid to uh, that amino acids are the genetic code, genetic code for the proteins so the tRNA is added with the RNA, M, uh, amino acid that is specific mRNA sequences that forms the uh, amino acyl tRNAs. This uh, ribosome is a protein synthesis enzyme. If we are recognizing that uh, ribosome recognizing this amino acid that forms the protein. This protein metabolism happen in the part in the human human stomach. It because uh, yeah, here this protein metabolism, this there are n number of proteins in the nature, in the human animal body, human body, or no in so living things bodies. So that uh, each and every protein is having different metabolism, uh, different metabolic pathways. Here they explain only uh, one or uh, some example. Uh, that is the stomach. That is a pepsinogen. That uh, utilizing the utilization of pepsinogen with the HCl that producing the pepsin. It's a common pathway of uh, uh, this uh, amino acid production because each and an every, every amino acid production is helpful for the protein metabolism. So they are mentioned this common uh, overall image. Each and every step we have some amino acids, we have some carbo carbon source, carbohydrates. It's a vitamin pathway that are all about the this uh, protein uh, amino acid, carbohydrate, lipid, these are all linked. So, only this image explain about the, uh, the overall understanding. The metabolism of carbon, uh, carbohydrate, metabolism of lipid, metabolism of uh, the proteins are interlinked. But there is a change in the Sorry, one minute. Okay, uh, just I'm I'm going to explain the output of the uh, this uh, functions. This uh, image. Now you can see the current slide because uh, this uh, uh, in this output out output of the all process protein carbohydrate lipids are the uh, calculated by the electrons transported that is the ATP ATP conversion uh, this output is very very important in the uh, cycle metabolic pathways okay. Urea cycle output of urea cycle is the urea citric acid cycle producing the uh, uh, this uh, ATPs uh, and uh, it uh, helps to forming the um, further products of the carbon carbohydrate metabolism. Then uh, like that uh, pyruvate pathway can produce the lactate lactic acid uh, acetyl CoA producing the fatty acid. These are overall interlinked pathways. Now it is a metabolic metabolism of vitamins. Vitamins are having specific uh, specific nature that providing the energy indirectly ok that uh, ATP and ever they these are all producing the direct energy conversion. This ATP, AT, the ATP production is the direct energy given but there is uh, vitamins, vitamins are indirectly producing the 
energies. This uh, ATP then that produce production of the need for the generation of ATP that macro uh, macronutrients. This macronutrients are produced from using uh, produced from proteins using the coenzymes. That's time. It's uh, uh, here we can order of uh, uh, order of the proteins. The order of proteins are activated by the coenzymes. This coenzymes are here. The if there is a thiamine, that is uh, vitamin A activated by uh, by the coenzyme that is called as the TPP. Uh, uh, that coenzyme TPP activating this vitamin A that produ producing the um, uh, energy. Then uh, for a vitamin B, that riboflavin, that producing uh, that uh, coenzymes are F D F A D and A A F M N. That uh, and then uh, the vitamin C, that is the uh, niacin, uh, that is the N A D N A D P is the cofactors. Vit the vitamin B six, uh, that is the uh, P L B is the cofactor. Folate, it's a uh, T H F is the cofactor. The panto pantothenamic acid is acetyl CoA is a uh, um so CoA is a uh, cofactor. The biotin is biotin is a cofactor. Vitamin B12 it's the same cofactors. These are all the complex structure of uh, the cofactors. In the B complex vitamins it's particularly important because uh, it's associated associating with the energy metabolism. This protein metabolism that uh, interlinked with the carbohydrate, carbohydrate metabolism interlinked with the fat metabolism. Uh, this coenzymes are uh, involved in the protein metabolism and here NAD and uh, NAD and PLP, THF, uh, uh, P60, P12 vitamins are involved in the protein metabolism. In the carbohydrate metabolism, TPP, FAD, FMN, NAD, CoA, B12. These are all the involved in the carbohydrate metabolism. In this, uh, in between fat metabolism, FAD, FMH, NAD, CoA, and uh, vitamin B12 are involved in the vitamin meta uh, this uh, fat metabolism. Here, so uh, this uh, coenzymes co are. Involved in the vitamin and uh, vitamins uh, metabolism. This vitamin metabolisms are uh, vitamins also involved in the protein metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, and fat metabolism. These are all the uh, overall outcome of the food metabolism. Food metabolism that food having protein, sugar, and fat that are uh, utilized by utilized by the enzymes which present in the human cells or living uh, living thing cells that are converted into the energies. Okay, tomorrow we will discuss about the unit two that is the cellular organization. Uh, thank you everyone. Thank you for your patience. If you have any queries, please post it in uh, in the chat box. DNA uh, is a DNA. DNA having the uh, duplex form. That is not RNA. Sorry. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I will post the uh, video. Uh, PPD and uh, video in uh, Google Classroom and mail. If you have any queries, please uh, please ask in uh, uh, Google Classroom messages, chat us.
no it's rna it's uh, the correct form of correct form is rna dna duplex structure having uh, its uh, usual one because uh, every uh, that having the uh, organized in uh, helix form helix form in uh, for that also in the rna the here they mention the uh, rna right that is a duplex form in the rna that is the for for the conformational interaction purpose only they mention it's a uh, rna form here uh, here you can see it's a type of it's a second one dna and rna uh, he, it's all about the a a, a form dna uh, the dna and rna to both are having the a form you can see here the rna also having a form dna also dna uh, and uh, rna and dna both are having the a form but the dna alone having the b form so only they mention the uh, b form for dna Rajwal, I can't get your question. Please repeat. okay okay i understand okay yesterday class i have a okay small doubt all amino acids isolated from the pro protein except proline okay uh, okay okay uh, the prolines are produced it's a uh, produced from the collagen it's an uh, 
it is a, co a compound for the collagen so it's derived from the l glutamate amino acid l glutamate okay this l glutamate is produced in uh, uh, the dehydrogen produced by the dehydrogenase enzyme this uh, proline is normal synthesis in the chemical pathway not in not by the uh, protein uh, that uh, that um, uh, this amino acids are not produced by the uh, proteins that is produced by the derived from the glute l glutamate which is the uh, produced by the enzyme called uh, first uh, the phi semi aldehyde dehydrogenase and also it's formed by uh, glutamate phi kinase basic pathway this uh, normally found in uh, loops right loops of the uh, loop of the protein so uh, the normal it at the end of or at the end of the alpha helix it's not found in a shed so don't that is no need for the uh, that sheet formation and beta hel uh, hel helix formation and sheet formation because this uh, the protein the beta sheets and uh, alpha helix in normal nature except the uh, beta sheet and uh, alpha helix first they are separately producing the uh, beta sheets and alpha helix that are all uh, continuous process in between the connection of the alpha sheets and uh, beta beta alpha helix and beta sheets that was uh, they are adding that naturally added the proline for stu structure formation of tertiary structure formation so that uh, proline is produced from the external source that external source is the uh, that uh, dehydrogenase uh, based pathway that uh, proline is isolated or uh, normally uh, it's uh, this uh, proline is uh, uh, no, normally it's pro provided uh, pro it's produced from the n methyl proline this n methyl proline is um, uh, it's uh, helps undergone the dehydrogenase path uh, de dehydrogenation this uh, helps to form the proline this is the l glutamate uh, pathway Yes, uh, glutamate, L, L glutamate alone pro forming the uh, yeah, that glutamate forms the proline, L glutamate forming the proline.
thank you everyone uh, let's we finish this section today tomorrow we will discuss about the unit 2 thank you all